Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're going to be going a bit further on this project on virtualizing your server environment and I have built a physical server it's down here it's an old server but we're gonna be converting that to run in a VMware environment instead of being a physical server and while I'm at it there is a bit of some household thing to say this video is recorded 6th of December people have been asking me if they could contribute to my channel in some way I have added a PayPal donate button if anyone would like to use that or I have added Amazon affiliate account so that if you use a link to go and buy something on Amazon I get a little thumbs in. It's a really good way because nobody loses anything on that. The merchandise is not gonna be more expensive for you, it doesn't cost me anything, it all goes out of Amazon's pocket or the company selling you stuff. It's a win-win right? Somebody asked if they could do that and now you can. Other ways to contribute would also just be to go back and uh, see the bloody ad always welcome but let's go back to the server thing at hand I have a server here and it's a 2008 can we see that at all it's not very clear on my screen but let's go into that yeah so here is my server and this server is a 2008 like that and it's um, let's say it's a company server that is running the company's FTP file seller thing this might not be a big deal if the company only had three servers you would just make a new FTP server but in this case the company is an old company this FTP server has been running for the last eight years and there are 600 customers using it on a regular basis so you might be able to go in and transfer the file seller from one server to another server but you can also just convert the server onto the VMware with everything intact so that is what I'm gonna be playing along with just converting the server from being a physical server here is the server it's an old IBM X series 336 it's a server with one processor it's, it's a 3 gigahertz server and it has one gigabytes of RAM this has probably been running for eight ten years so it's it's kind of a calculating radiator right now so it's a good idea to get the workload off this server because it's just using too much power to be efficient for anything so I found this to be a very good example of something that should really be virtualized because one gig of RAM and being a FTP server and transferring a bit of files and doing next to nothing it's perfect it's not gonna be stressing out the, the host anything at all so let's um, do that and the host that we are moving it over to is this number 15 right there it's an IBM slash Lenovo x3650 model 3 it's a really good server I love this server a lot it has two processors both of them are six core processors and it has a working frequency of 2.67 gigahertz I think it has close to 100 gigs of RAM or something like that so we're gonna be moving that little FTP server over there and we're just gonna go in and see what that the FTP server actually works before we move it so here on the screen we have the FTP server and it's running down here there if I can catch it there it is it's running great um, and we are playing with that there is like 600 customers right now there is only me more than yours this is the server that we want to virtualize so we're gonna go into the computer and have a look at that here we are at my computer and as we can see I am on a host here and that is my system x3650 model 3 and it has uh, 12 CPUs 12 cores and there are 2.6666 gigahertz and it's a two socket server the it's six cores and there's a total of 24 logical processors or threads uh, it has 126 point something so it's probably 128 gigabytes of memory and this is where i want to move the ftp server to move the ftp server we need something from vmware and that is called a vmware vcenter converter standalone 
mm, product downloads and all that's probably not part of the name but this part is and you can download that from VMware it's I think it's free I have no problem I only have free account to VMware so all the things that I show here are um, things that I've downloaded for free except the VMware vCenter that is not free converter standalone thing is a free thing and what that does is that it converts all kind of machines to VMware machines so download that I have already downloaded a version and I have also installed it and I have installed it on another virtual machine data one and I have that running here <laughs> it's right there so VMware vCenter Converter Standalone Client and this is just something that you are installed on some PC we are installing oh, I have already installed this on a third PC so we have the physical server that we want to convert we have the host the VMware host which is this one and I have another server here that's gonna be the converter server where the software is installed so that's how that functions here we have some options we can configure a machine I have no idea what that does or we can convert a machine so if we press convert machine we get a pop-up and we get some different options here we can we can convert a VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machine and uh, we can do this or we can convert a powered on machine we can convert a VMware infrastructure virtual machine we can convert a backup image or third part virtual machine we can even convert a Hyper-V server to be a VMware server we are gonna be using the first one powered on machine here we get to the machine that we want to we can if I was to do this I could go out and I could install this converter on the local machine out there in the data center and just pick this this local machine and we could convert that I am picking this remote one and here we can put in an IP number and I just happens to know the IP number that one and we need to put in the administrator and it needs a secret password as well like that let's see windows linux windows next let's see what it comes up with it came up and said that it could not contact the server that's not so good what do we have let's see if we can ping it That really wasn't very lucky. Let's see if we can disable the firewall or something. Here is the server. The FTP server is still running. Let's go into firewall settings. Turn on and off the firewall. Turn off, fly, warning. Oh, no warning. One more one. Firewall is off. Okay, let's see if that works. Turned off the firewall. Let's see if that helped did something okay it says that it needs to install itself temporarily it can automatically uninstall it when this is done so do you want to continue yes deploying agents or oh, agent cool it has apparently deployed the agent uh, now it wants to know my VMware infrastructure details and it has already found my vCenter I'm not sure if you need a vCenter or if you can do this on a standalone server I think we'll just go with the vCenter and I'll type in as my administrator here Oh, it sees all kind of stuff. Right now the server is called this. I have probably not bothered renaming this server because I have just been using this server for doing YouTube videos. So this is the server name. We're not gonna call it that in my VMware. We're gonna call it something. We're gonna call it FTP something. I don't think this is gonna rename the server itself. It's just gonna what the VMware server is gonna be called. FileZilla. FTP FileZilla. It's a great name. 
we're gonna put it there yes and let's try just to press next oh and we get to choose which servers to put it on we're gonna be putting it on that one we can choose what hardware level or oh, first we can actually choose which which storage to put it on just see the local storage there is enough free space there we can choose that and we can choose the hardware level for the virtual machine to be installed on. Uh, I think we can go with, I don't need it to be that fancy. And uh, if I go over eight, my favorite VMware tool, which is this one, is not always able to fix the problem. I have to go into the web tool and I hate that one. So we're gonna go with eight and next. And here we get a lot of information, copy both hard drives, and some CPU information, that's great. Network, there's two NICs, both of them are gonna go onto the internet. We can edit that, we can see that, oh, that's actually the wrong, so we need to change those to be on that network instead, okay. There is lots of more information that we can mingle with. I think I'm just Let's, let's see this one, data stores, okay. Yeah, the data stores are here set to thick provisioning and I want them to be thin, so we're gonna change those. Otherwise, they will take up the full amount of space and that's not really needed for this demonstration. And we get a summary. It sees the IP number and my choices are down here. We're giving it the same one gig of RAM thin provisioning data store and there is a lot of good things that you can configure when you do this finish and it's submitting job let's see if the job goes here creating virtual machine we have something there it has created that that is cool and it's still creating that it's kind of the box for it it has created so now it's probably moving data over yeah here it's starting, the status is 1%. I think I'll go out and visit the machine and see what that looks like, if it's doing anything on that. And let's just see if it's still answering, establish new connection. It's still answering on FTP. I don't know how long this server will be down when it's completed. This should be something that is not gonna take much downtime. Out here at the server, we're gonna log in again. See what it, it's doing. Let's see if there is anything visible. Oh, nothing there. Let's see what the task manager is doing. Something. Yeah, there's a VMware converter running right there. So that is running. It's not taking up much of the power of the server at all. I have sorted these after which processes are using up CPU and this VMware converter seems to be just using 1% of the CPU all the time. So this is going to be very interesting. Well, this is a drag. It's 3% uh, done now and it is estimating 12 hours and 30 minutes to complete. To use the time wisely, I've been on my Google Plus page. That looks strange. And my good subscriber, Mr. Atlantis646, commented on me doing this video. I hope you're successful. I sure hope so too, but it's taking quite a while. Well, I guess I will be back in 12 hours, 58 minutes. Hopefully it's just the start of this that takes a long time. When it finds out that there is not much on that disk at all, it will hopefully go a lot quicker than this, hopefully. Hi, so now quite a lot of time has passed since I started this video. Actually three days has passed since this was started. It wanted to take 11 hours, so I had to let it run and then just get back to it. And that's where the really big benefits of that I started this on a jump server comes in, because now I can just continue this and finish this from home. Actually, it has finished all by itself. It's not there anymore. The conversion has completed. The job is gone. So we're gonna go see the server. It's right there and it's taking up 26 gigabytes of storage space, even though we have provisioned uh, 229 apparently. Um, I'm not able to, I uh, probably could go in and shut down the other server. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to turn it back on again. So 
I'm going to turn this one on and we're going to see it probably conflict with the other one. That's a good thing then, because the two servers are identical, but what the hell. Let's just turn this on and see what happens. I'm going to start a console for it. There we are. I'm going to remove this dust prompt, start a console and press on. I don't know if it will come and prompt us for something. Apparently not. It starts. I'm looking because that's where the screen is. Sorry about that. Could probably have located it over here. Okay, we get a login prompt. Server 2008. So we'll go up here and we'll send some keys to it. There, send, control, I'll delete. And I will log in. And I'll put in my password. There. And it will log us in. Preparing your desktop. Genius. Okay, and it's exactly like the, or almost exactly like the physical server that we just virtualized. It even starts up my FileZilla here, the FileZilla FTP server. You can just look and see my single user account is still there. So perfect. Um, I should really change my passwords. And <laughs> actually. It prompted me about that on the physical server as well. I did not record that. So, but I'm gonna cut this short and just say that we uh, successfully virtualized a. Let's see what there are currently. You are not currently connected to the network. Is that correct? Oh, now it is. Okay, we have successfully converted this physical server to a virtual server with everything. <laughs> Even the garbage can is still full. <laughs> well, that took its sweet time, but now I can put the labels of this server and put it over here. It's running over here on my workhorse. It's running Windows 2008 and it's also doing FTP. So now the tasks that this physical server was doing before is now moved over to just being another virtual server on the host. And it's not taking up as much memory as it was before. Before it was taking up one gigabyte of memory, now it's just taking up less. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Like this video down here and have a really nice day. Bye bye.